So love is what? An action. The way you show the most side by keeping his commandments. That's what love is. Right? I saw a scripture that if a man said he loved the most side keeping that command, he's a liar. But you, where, where was you just read just before? Oh, that was first John 1 and uh, 2 and 4. Yeah, see? Yeah. And the last one you was first John 3 and 18, right? Yeah, it was first. Oh, yeah, come. Uh, was 3 and 18. And preset for that Yeah, yeah. Um, James 1 and 22. I was at the first, uh, I was just to the point. But be doers of the word and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like unto a man beholding his natural face in the glass. For he beholdeth himself and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what man of man he was. You didn't change, you didn't repent. Change. That's right. James 1 and 22. Because we're filthy, man. So you're supposed to be working on yourself every day. Every day. Right? And that's a reprobate. The scripture says, uh, Examine yourself. Yeah. And also said, Better your man to hide it his own. Is this Sirach 20 and 31, something like that? Sirach 20 and 31. Better is he that hideth his folly than a man that hideth his wisdom. You're not supposed to hide your wisdom, man. And that's going to guys who don't teach. But also, what we're going into just now, you know better, you're supposed to do better, man. That's being what? Wisdom. Wisdom is what? A practical thing. A lot of guys got knowledge, but they have no what? No wisdom. Do Gino Jennings have some knowledge on certain things? Yeah, but he has no wisdom. He has no wisdom. Does he know you're not supposed to eat pork? Yeah, of course he knows that, man. You see? But he's teaching contrary, man. So he's not wise, man. She said, make not thyself an underling to what? A foolish man. And what's the, what's the center of wisdom? We resurrect the first chapter. Let's get that. Somebody said it tells you what fear. I'll just tell you that Job 20 20 book. Let's get Sirach the first chapter. Mosai dealing with fear, man. So the reason why we don't eat pork and shrimp and crab and all that, because why? It shows your fear, aka love, toward your Havashimel Shah. Even though we never seen him, but we know he's real. Right. That's fear. Right? It's the average person, like, I, I never seen him, so why the hell should I listen to that? To me, that's a, book, that's a bunch of stories. That's the spirit of Jacob now, man. Yep. That's that nigga, that's thousands of years ago, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, what that got to do with me now? Uh, even though everything the most I said would happen is happening. World War Three happening. Some saying plagues and pestilence happening. Nation against kingdom against kingdom happening. She talks about martial law in the book. That's that's gonna happen. The Great Famine is gonna happen. The mark, the MOTB, that's happening. Cashless society. Okay? The image of the beast is AI, is science, is Maxine. That's happening, man. The beast is on the move. All that's happening right before your eyes. Man, that's how the most I show that is real. Fuck out of here, man. Fuck out of here, man. This is a fucking weirdo, man. Look at all that space. You gonna come right here, man? He's a fucking widow, man. Just a demon, man. Like you said, yeah. Satan come in different forms. Yeah. And you don't gotta tell us he's a sodomite, because only a sodomite would do that. Mm -hmm. I probably right. would have stiffed all the way. Why you try to come to me here? Yeah. Like, what you doing? What you doing? Yeah. What the fuck you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Close he was. He was real close. He yeah. wasn't even, he was within this line. Yeah. He wasn't even on that side. He came within this. <laughs> that guy is crazy, man. Yeah. Like he wasn't even a line there. He, he was on this side of the guy. Come on, man. That's just fucking weird. That's weird energy. Man. Uh, and I, I was not yeah. You could have been seen as stationary. stationary. You could have been like, okay, let me start coming over this way. Yeah. He waited. He got right hand. Yeah. Right now. He just thinks it's weird. That's not fucking weird. It's just weird energy, man. Like, come on. Yeah. It's not like it's a crowd out here. You got to go between. Yeah. It's a bad space. And then you just look like a sodomite, man. Mm -hmm. All right, what you got? This the, that was Satan right there. What you got? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 1, in verse 14. To fear the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. There you go, man. Ooh. Fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. So that nigga has no wisdom. 
because and they was, don't create alone. It's a lot. He was created with the faith in the womb. Mm -hmm. Ephesians second chapter verse eight, when it goes to what that was a gift. So like Jeremiah had it, Isaiah had it, all the prophets of all the believers, they all had that because they had it from the womb. Uh, Most I just embedded that in his men. You gonna think of fear me? They gonna believe him? They gonna have faith, man. It all goes hand in hand. Having faith in the Lord, fearing the Lord, loving the Lord. You see, and wisdom. That's all do on both wisdom. So to what? He loveth none, but he that dwelleth with wisdom. She, she just took a picture of us too. That she took a picture of us. Yeah. Same, she did it real slick. Working today. She did it real slick. Like That's she was looking. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. I just, just now. Yeah. Yeah. Look, it's like I thought I'd never see. Fuck out of here. Yeah, no respect. She's smart. Yeah, they mark. He got a weird energy out of there. Yeah. Just, yeah. But that's why you gotta stay with, with wisdom. Right? You gotta wisdom. stay with wisdom, man. Because as we, as we get closer to the end, and like we said, these are uh, it's gonna get physical, man. These these devils they're gonna straight come after the prophets. Like like we talked about, they come after this clown Jones, that double agent, the double speaking serpent. But he has shit, he has shit to talk about the Israelites too. You See, yeah. What? I never heard him acknowledge. Yeah, you talk to to call it short in time spans. Oh, yeah. yeah. See? And so I don't believe in that, blah, blah, blah. You guys are racist. You know, different than the clan. Don't let this, don't you talk about it. And he even addressed the boot kissing thing. Yeah. You got them idiotic Israelites. You got these weirdo liberals kissing their boots. He said some stupid shit like that. Which, you know, we kind of agree with him on that, too. That's not... The whole science center is here to be doing stupid shit like that. That gives the ministry a bad name, man. Was that Sacred Corinthians 6 chapter? Right? We are we supposed to be edifying the sheep, man. We don't got time to be doing to your own kinks, man. What the fuck is the saying about that, man? You know? So we're talking about the ministry being blameless, you got it? Said Corinthians, said Corinthians chapter 6 verse 3. Giving no offense in anything that the ministry be not blamed. Right, man. So we don't be doing stuff like that. Yeah, right? Which, yeah, in the future, the kingdom, they will be bowing down. You know what I mean? But all that licking boots and all that, I ain't, I ain't come on, man. Like, remember uh, General Gehenna? Oh, yeah. His whole saying, thing. He wanted go the go lockdowns to end yep. just for that. Yeah. He was like, go get the Vanessa. You know, because if... I'm, I'm trying to get my boots kicked in the summer. I'm trying to go on the beach this summer. I'm trying to get my boots licked. Man. Yeah. I'm like, nigga, what are you? That's not what we out here for, man. They fantasize about that. Yeah. That's a power thing, man. Yeah. Like we said, they not doing it because they sincere. They doing it because they're fucking widows, man. Right. Those Edomites, they get off on things like that, man. And at the end of the day, too, man, yeah. you want to lower your house, you to get his glorification. You got to get his glory first. Don't bow to me, man. Who am I? How, how you gonna bow me? I don't even know if I'm making it. You know, I don't even know if I'm making it, man. You gonna sit there and bow and kiss my food? Who, 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 who kiss my feet? Who am I? Bow to my Lord, man. Kiss him. Kiss him unless he be angry, man. Mm. See? Yeah, I wish I wasn't even in that spirit. A man, a man said, what's it, Luke 18, 19? Let's get that. Fuck okay. out of here. Someone trying to bow to me. Stand up. Don't bow to me. Now the kingdom of heaven, after our Lord get the glorification in there, we will be naked with Drew Ersby, our shot. Of course they're going to bother us, man. Honest That's humility. not for now. She's a Yo, she's a widow, she's so man. Weird. <laughs> she's a weird fucking widow. What the hell? She's got yeah, like like a weird, weird energy, man. Bro, she's just skating real slow. Because <laughs> they see the camera, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's the era of vanity, man. What you got? This is the book of St. Luke, chapter 18, and verse 19. And Yahweh Shai said unto him, Why callest thou me good? Right. None is good save one, that is the most high. Yeah, he didn't even want people calling him good. He said, Good master. What he said, Why callest thou me good? There's none good but the most high. Don't call me good, man. And in that in that time, he came as Yahweh Shai, he didn't sin. You know? Not that, one that time. His past life, he, didn't, he didn't slip up, not once. Not once. Not once. You know, Yahweh Shai was on point. You know? It's perfect, man. Perfect. But he said, don't call me good. There's none good but one, the most side. Call him good. See? The Apostle Paul said, a wretched man that I am. See? Remember, they tried to bow to him and Barnabas, and they, they, they yep. cursed their ass yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, even when um, Apostle uh, Peter 
and I believe and Cornelius. And Cornelius ain't too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Cornelius bowed to him. Oh yeah, that too. There's another. How do I get that in Acts the tenth chapter? Okay, come on. That's Acts the tenth chapter. There's another one thing about with Saint John the Revelator and the angel. Yeah, that too. And um, also when um, they performed that miracle, and he said, he said, you men are delayed. Why are you staying gazing at me? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, this is the power of the Most High through Son Yahushua who y'all crucified. You know, he started cutting him. Cause it's like, oh shit, like look, you know. I believe that was actually the third chapter. I'm not mistaken. I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Acts 10. The service wanted to get straight to the point. Now, straight to the point. Cornelius bowed to him. Okay. When Cornelius met him yet. Verse 25. Acts 10 and 25. And as Peter was coming in, Cornelius met him and fell down at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter took him, um, took him up and said, Stand up. I myself also am a man. And as he talked with them, he went in and found many that would come together. So he wasn't in that spirit either, man. <laughs> Even if it's an Edomite. Like, listen, man. you still going to slavery, but don't bother me. I'm yeah, don't bother me. Even more at the watch pot. Yeah. So you know, don't bother me. Yeah. In the world to come, yes, they will have to. That's a mandatory. That will be mandatory. Like y'all got certain things is mandated in this society, certain things is protocol. That's protocol. You're gonna have to bow to an Israelite. That's if you don't, then disrespect them. Yeah, just disrespect, man. Ain't gonna be none of no things gonna be on point, man. That's gonna be part of your day to day activity, your day to day routine. You're gonna have to bow, man. They don't wake up thinking about okay, I can't wait. I can see them bow, look out of eye. Like you have school to learn certain things. That's gonna that's gonna what y'all gonna learn. Yeah. You're going to learn how to bow and yeah. serve. You're going to learn manners. You're going to learn how to do this. You're going to learn the law. Right. You're going to learn the law, man. Okay? That's that's going to be the new curriculum, the standard in the world to come. You're going to learn. As a matter of fact, Slaki, you're going to learn how to serve our power. Yeah. Our washing up shot. Done. See, like brother just said, we're going to literally give to the suits. what? The world will be by the Zion. You're going to learn. Y'all gonna have your representatives come up, learn. Right. It's gonna be a chain of command. That's right. They're gonna come back and they're gonna teach y'all. They're gonna teach y'all. That's how it's gonna do. Man. We're not gonna have every single mold bite. No, 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 no. It's yeah. order. It's order to do. Y'all got work to do. How just all y'all be learning. Yeah. Just yeah. like y'all got order from Biden on down. Um, and then you got down to your lowly mayor in the city. Well, that's how it's gonna be. So in this society, you got your presidents, your Congress, your senators, your governors, your mayors. Your councilmen, local city men, it's a chain of command. Well, in the kingdom is going to be the same way. Right? Ain't no the average mobile going to be walking up to the one four four. Yo, what's that scripture again? Like, what the fuck is going on? What the fuck is going on? <laughs> That's going to be a whole bunch of heathens going to die that day, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His own people going to come down on him. Like you should know better than to do that. You Bruce, never do no Bruce shit like that. The whole nation for Hell that. yeah, you know. Earthquake, you Hell know, yeah. earth open and swallow them up, and mad thunder and rain. Hell yeah, you just walk up to a brother. That's that's crazy disrespect. Yeah. Yo, I have a brother playing. Yeah, what? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what the hell's going on here? What you Yo. ask me? Yo, man, yeah. that's crazy, man. That, nah. Nah. I'll just ask him to break that out from that quick. I know you want to move through quiet. I understand. Nah, this. man, nah, be, Wallet, nah. Man. That's not gonna happen, man. It's never gonna happen. See? Chain of command, order, order, man. And that's what's lacking in this society is order. That's what's place is called what is confusion. She says, surely, let's get to Isaiah 29, 16. Oh, you got that? 29, 16? Yeah. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 16. Surely a turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. Shit. This is any time in history people talk about how you know it's the end. You see, everything is turned upside down. Homosexuality is the thing. That was never like that, man. Okay? Being a tranny is the thing, man. That's it. That's Groups over-sexualizing children, that's the thing, man. And if your parents try to discipline them, child abuse. What, what, what time period are we living in? Where are we, man? All right? So everything is turned upside down. Oh, woman over the man. Woman got woman. Oh, even Alex Jones case, some female judge. What the fuck? What's going on? Who gave her that authority, man? That's crazy, man. Okay? I don't even think 
Check in Russia is are they female judges? Check that. Female judge. That's just mad. Every judge you see is a goddamn. I think it's even more females than um, male judges in America now, man. Because every high profile case, the um, the um, the, um, the female is a, a judge, man. That's out of order, man. The judges are supposed to be what men. Okay. And how fool? That's a foolish man. He, he gave his woman power to be over him. That's that's foolish, man. All right. Mm. What did they say on it? Let's go to his uh, eastern counterpart. Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 22. How long would thou go about, O thou black sodding daughter? For the Lord hath created a new thing in the earth, a woman shall compass a man. Yeah, so there you go. Compass is authority. They do? Yeah. It says, uh, DC women judges play central role in Russian investigation. Uh, it's right here. It says, Why are the majority of Russian judges female? In Russia, women make up about two thirds of judges. What? I mean, they Edomites. I mean, they Edomites. Of yeah. course. A level, a level of representation, two point five times the world average. See, that's all off, man. I know. Let me let me look up. Oh, what's the country in the Middle East? I should look up. Uh, the place where the um, Taliban is at. Oh, Afghanistan. Hell no. Afghanistan. Uh, or even. Uh, you yeah, really know the answer to that. They don't got that. Oh, look up any female judges in uh, China. Who you guys? You so saw Russia? Don't, they don't got it either, man. Yeah, Russian judge forced to retire after a bare breast photo. Who of you guys are Edomites, man? Might be a little tougher, but it is still the devil. I got a little something right here. It says the feminization of judges in China. There is an interesting phenomenon taking place in China right now. This came out 2015. It says while most Chinese law firms are filled with male Chinese lawyers, there is a significant portion of female judges in the Chinese uh, Chinese judicial system. This is a, this is a huge turnaround from the 1980s. Why they get westernized? With only men dominated, the, um, when only men dominated uh, the judicial system, both in the private and the public sectors, it says, um, let's see, Professor Saidi Lue, whatever, highlighted this is um, this is a basis for the, his recent research on the feminization of judges in China, what explains the career mobility of men and women in the legal profession in China. So that's something new. Like the brother Red is something new, a new thing in the earth. He said, this is a phenomenon. He said, it's a huge turnaround. And that's spiritual because Red is the turn of things what? upside down. You see? So it's so some female judges in China. It was a huge turnaround. Some in Russia. You see that? Was they making two thirds, like they said? You that's know they here in America. But hell no, not in Afghanistan. Let's look at that. No, no. But I'm thinking. In fact, let's get that Revelation 17. Yeah. That's how, that's that's Babylon. That's why Babylon got to go because eventually it's going to. Their democracy was over time; it would spread everywhere. They may not say it's democracy, but those beliefs. See, now you got you got female um, in China, Russia. Now, like they said in the eighties, that was unheard of. See, guess how much female just going to be in the kingdom of heaven? Nine, one. You think it'll be a little girl would never tell her father, may get back in. I want to be a female judge. Wow. Wrong, 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 wrong. All right? Discipline, man. That's coming back too, man. The Lord is bringing back order, man. Yeah. This place is out of order. And women love chaos. They love stuff out of order. Yeah, this is society. He, he saw us crazy, man. The brother said in the kingdom might be no female judges. That's why, you know, I remember times past, we had wicked ass women trying to say, there's some woman part of 144,000. No, the fuck is not. How? 
They draw ears with Yahweh Shai. Those are just a governing body. It's not uh, Marvel. It's not DC. Y'all looking at too much of Tokyo. It's kind of, it's not the Eternals. There's nothing we know. Wonder Woman's up there in council with the men. Because they live. That's Father. Alright, that's Father. That's Father, man. Alright. That's not Father. There's no woman apart to the one for the Period. Period. Right. Other tells you that Revelation of Fortune. It tells you that, right? Right. Other women are part of the elect, yeah. yeah. That's not called the elect lady. Yeah. Of course, you weren't part of the elect, man. Probably but being part a the judge, third, yeah. But no, there will be no uh, female members of God. There will be no female judges, right? It's going to be more than what you got. More than Revelation 17. You want to start? Yeah, that's something verse 1. Right. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 1. And there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vows, and talked with me, saying unto me, Come hither, I will shew unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. The whore is America. The waters are talking about different nations. You read further down, it tells you that, Dad. Verse 2, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication, and inhabitants of the earth have, have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. Her doctrine, her beliefs, her ways. A system. Because in ancient kingdoms, China, Russia, they had what? They had kings. Right? You got a fucking ball bike. You look up King Jong. What's his name? GP. He got a fucking suit and a tie on. What about your ancient Chinese garbs, man? Huh? What about that? At least them Arabs to some degree. The Taliban got their garbs and whatnot. Fucking Chinese got a damn suit and a tie on. Where we learned that from, man? Learn that from these ideas. I just read in the 80s, it was just male judges. All of a sudden now, they got female judges. In. So they all drinking what? They're looking at what? America, even though they're against America. But they still look at her ways and they adopt certain things. That's how you lose your culture over time. Man. Mm -hmm. That's what the most high going straight for the heart. Once he hit Babylon, that's it. That's it. There's going to be a new society, man. All right, what you got? Back to Revelation 17 and verse 3. So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a, a scarlet colored beast full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. There you go. And That's the woman was arrayed in purple and, and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. Yeah, because why? She got all of that by drinking the blood of the saints. She became filthy rich, she became the greatest empire of our blood, sweat, and tears, of our backs. That's how she became the top nation. And all nations have to come to her. If any nation on the planet were going to make major moves, they got to deal with America. Or they deal with the petrol dollar. They trade with the dollar. This place has the most influence. See? America, Babylon, man. So we know already. You know, we just have to bring that precept out you know, you learn something new every day. We didn't even know Russia, majority, they got a lot of, I mean, we, we didn't even know that, man. For sure, they huh? drinking, that's them drinking the wine. And no, Russia's not a part of the beast. It's not. Right? Even though they're Edomites, they're not a part of the beast. Okay? And it's not just Russia. It's not even just Europe. You know? Russia is a mix of Europe and Asia, Eurasia. Right? That's a, that's a most vast land. It starts in Eastern Europe and it goes all the way there's a part of Russia that's right next to North Korea. Mm. Goes around China and it comes back around to North Korea. Mm. That's a vast land. Guess what? Alaska was a part of Russia. But they sold it to America. That's how vast that territory is, man. And there's parts of Russia that's just cold. There's just ice. It's going to Siberia. It's, it's uninhabited land. People don't even mess with that part. See? See, so... Russia ain't a part of the beast, but he is the bear. Mm. Let's get a Revelation 13 chapter. See, the scriptures got everybody. So how you explain that? See, but y'all do, you do both having these guys, you don't got the gift of prophecy. Most I ain't dealing with you, man. Just, just come on, man. Cut it out. Most I ain't dealing with you. You don't understand prophecy, man. Let's get that, Revelation 13. This is the book of Revelation chapter 13 and verse 1. And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns. And we always break down the seven heads and ten horns for us to show our men. Thank you, read on. And upon his ten horns, Salakia, and upon his horns ten crowns, and upon his heads the name of blasphemy, blasphemy 
the same beast. Like we said, Daniel's song, Ezra's song, St. John Revelator's song. The last kingdom. The last kingdom. Ties with Aisha, the end of the world. So vocab your nonsense about we don't know the Edomites. That's a lie. According to the Bible, that's a lie. He's a he will be the last empire before Yahweh shall return. Right. She said, in the days of these kings, the seven heads and the ten horns, that's when you're the most I was sent back in Yahweh Shah. Oh, and, and also in, in that same chapter, then in the second chapter, um, you just quoted through the spirit, uh, the stone, which is Yahweh Shah, is the image upon his feet. And we go into the whole image, you know, it's the Babylonians, you have the Persian and the Medes, you have the, uh, the Greeks and then the Romans as the legs, then you have the feet, which is part iron, part clay, which is native to you. Why did Yahweh Shai, the stones, make the image upon his feet? Look at these kings. These are these kings. So he said, but kingdom, he's going to destroy the enemy of the EU. So when he comes back, who's going to be rulership and power? The beast system. That's what I tell you, Revelation 19. These shall make war with the Lamb. That's the right. Lamb shall That's mm -hmm. right, man. See, there's no getting around it. Can't get around it. And who gave us these secrets? Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, put the elders on now. That's right. You would never learn that in church. Amos church don't six. talk about no beasts. Uh, they don't talk about no seven heads and ten horns. They talk about some damn hell. You know, and the brothers did a video. There's no, there's no such thing. That's, right. That's fairy tales, man. Uh, when you do, when people have these, some people, a lot of people just full of shit. But like that Jake, he said when he died, he saw Satan laughing at people, and they were burning. That's the, the second death. These demons are gonna mock you, people. That's right. Okay, but I got you. Yeah. You fell for the hokey though. Yeah. They're gonna mock you. That's what demons do. They're gonna mock you, man. All right. When you get cast in a lake of fire, the second death, and thermonuclear destruction, that's what that's talking about. There's no place under the ground when you die you can be burning. That's absolutely foolishness, man. Because if that's the case, if our Revelation the 20th chapter said both the uh, death and the, the life, so they burning now. They have a raise them up to get hit. The lake, and it said death and hell was cast, in the lake cast of fire. into the lake of fire. So they're gonna burn in another. Where's the sense in that doctrine? That don't make mm. sense, man. Mm. See, that's Christianity, man. All right, what you got? Which is one hell of a drug. Christianity. That's a crazy drug. All right, what you got? The book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 2. And the beast, and the beast which I saw was like unto a leopard, and his feet was a, was as the feet of a bear. Oh, a leopard, Alexander the Greek. Which they was, he was known for, you know, you know what you're saying? Oh, no, no, you got it, you got it, you got it. Alexander the Greek, he was known for wearing an actual leopard on his head. He gutted it out. He actually put a leopard on his head, man. And also, too, the way he conquered the nations was with lightning speed. Yeah. 12 years. Within 12 years. 12 years. You know? And also, it mentioned um, the leopard, uh, the beginning of the um, of Edomite's ruling. Yeah. It was like the bear was going to be That's what we talk about the Russians. That's right. So Russia's in the scriptures, but he's known as what? And it's a known fact. That's their main symbol is the beer. Come on, man. So it, it end with the leper. As no start Stop. with the leper is going to end with the beer. He's going to he's going to be the main um, adversary against Babylon. He's going to take down Babylon. Mr. Well, so brother mentioned to me um, yesterday. Uh, they thirty years ahead of Babylon with their um, nuclear missiles. God, with their uh, missile technology. Because they still trying to. America still have to. Look at that, they hypersonic missile America. America lost its edge. Because you're too busy pushing this woke movement. And all the nations get manning up. You got nothing but damn pushing up on damn folly, man. And the scripture says a woman shall what compass got women in all these composition. So America lost its edge, man. Uh, and look, right? while America's saying that, you know, drafting women into the army and all it is, and all this fun that they're pushing, and what was that North Korea they were doing? They was breaking stop signs and shit, and stones that they had. And they, they got all they, all they, all they, they, all they people in armies on troops. Yeah. Uh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. They created what? Super soldiers. All right? That's why we got microchip in their damn, like, uh, Bane. What's one of the character when they injected it? I think it's, I think it's me. Yeah. So now they're doing all kind of things with them guys, man. They're ready for war, man. Mm. I got something. It says, The United States Military Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DARPA, announced Wednesday it has successfully tested the hypersonic missile manufactured by defense giant Lock Lockheed Martin. The news comes amid rising concerns that rivals Russia and China 
have more advanced hypersonic missile systems, uh, and that's the point. And that came out July 13th, 2022. Yeah, so they now they now uh, trying to they now trying to get a grip with it. They've been, they been Russian and China then got the hypersonic missiles. See? So Babylon is way behind because why you were too comfortable. That was about to bring it up at the peak of the night. People can suspect it. I'm starting missile coming in 15 minutes. 15 minutes of Russia over here. So where you gonna go, man? See? Where are you gonna go? Imagine that people Russia and go out the atmosphere and come back in. Yeah. So how would it help? See how fast a hypersonic missile is? A, Ru a Russian one? Yeah, from Russia to America, how fast are they going? Now let's get that Isaiah 24. Huh. Windows on high and open. directly with the uh, rich man and everything. That's another fallacy to teach a uh, rich man. And that's a parable. All right, what you got? What you say? Can we grab it now? Oh, no, no. Which we'll grab it now. Yeah. All right, it says, uh, slide I'm trying to see how long, how, okay, I'll take this in. Slide here. How, take long, how long a hypersonic missile from Russia to America, something like that. United States just 15 minutes can cover the East Coast. A really fast missile takes 20 minutes to get to the West Coast. Now I want to be um, oh, I'm I'm sonic. Sonic. okay, I got it. Right yeah. Slot, slot. Yeah. Um, how long would it take a hybrid 